Good morning everyone from the tiny mountain city of Wuzhishan in China's Hainan province. We're going to be meeting up with one of my subscribers. His name is Uncle Bob and he is a British retiree living in this tiny city deep in the mountains. He invited us to his house for sandwiches with his wife who is from the northeast city of Dalian. They met while working in the Middle East and moved to China together about a decade ago. But why Wuzhishan of all places? So you guys, you guys previously didn't like know anybody in Wuzhishan or anything. Like you just passed no, by and you just passed. fell in love with it. A cup of tea. <laughs> Heard somebody was selling a house. We liked what we saw from the living room window. I like the fact that it wasn't a big city. Now this is near enough to the city for us to be able to go shopping. Uh, far enough to be quiet. Yeah. And to know your neighbors. I don't mind knowing the neighbors. Does anybody around here like speak English well or? No. <laughs> no. Okay, occasionally, um, like last Saturday market, all kinds of people come up and talk to me. Hi. You see how dry that is. Well, it's only the way I go. Too, too, too sweet. Too sweet. Uncle Bob and Juan regularly make little vlogs to share their life in Wuzhishan with friends and family back in their hometowns. We're going to go to the market. There is the island. There is the wife. Here is the donkey. <laughs> For a long time I was the only foreigner. Then there was a church family. Now I'm the only foreigner again. There were a couple of Russian kindergarten teachers. They seem to have disappeared. How does it feel being the only foreigner in the whole place? Uh, it doesn't worry me really. Well, not in the sense of being worried, but I mean like, I don't know, is it like lonely or anything? Like the only one of your kind here? Or are you just like, whatever? I think it's probably one of the reasons why I joined Facebook. A lot of these people that you see are snowbirds. They live in those buildings there. Just during the winter, and then in the summer, where do they go? Back up north. Uncle Bob might look out of place in this tiny South Chinese town, but he's actually more of a local than many of the Chinese people around here are. As with many cities in Hainan, Wuzhishan has a ton of seasonal residents that spend a warm and pleasant winter there and then return to their hometowns in the north for the mild summer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I guess a lot of the people around here still haven't seen you. Like you walk here all the time and yet you'll still run into people who think that you're new. Why go? Oh dear me, I say. Sometimes it gets a bit too much. You get the, <laughs> a lot more at the beginning of each season, as it were. And sometimes I'll turn around, because they they won't speak to you. It's just as you go past. My my eyes might be failing as I get older. <laughs> you know, these are four, size four reading glasses. But my hearing is still quite good. So I walk past somebody and then I'll hear the, either Lao Wai or Wai Guan. So I walk back. And say, Nisha uh, Dongbei Ren, Osha Bendi Ren. Nice, got him. Because we don't actually go away for any part of the year. Yeah, you are more local than they are. As authentic Wuzhishan locals, Uncle Bob and Juan spend a lot of time walking in the surrounding villages and forests. When the local highway was still under construction, they even walked that all the way to the end, over 20 kilometers. A lot of our wow. walks is we say, have we been that way before, like there, for example? No, and we go that way and suddenly we're in amongst all the trees, you know? That now is all construction, so we can't go through there. Mm. Last time we tried, we got stuck in the woods. But we, we never learn, we keep doing it again and again. We've been <laughs> leached more than once. Uh, that concrete thing across is a little viaduct. Oh. It's carrying water, uh, although it doesn't carry much water anymore. Now you'll see they have 
pipe work. Yeah. Uh, the government does a lot for the farms. Mm. All these concrete roads are done by the government. Uh, it enables them to farm more efficiently. Before, everything had to be carried by hand. These may oh, be this is cool. your field. A wastewater treatment plant. Yeah. Nearly all the villages have these now. Oh. This one's got one up there, this one here, another one down the road there. Fancy. Oh, look at that. It's riding on the on this chicken's back. <laughs> one day I'll hold one. You Wuzhou Shan is definitely a beautiful place. There is no denying that. So beautiful that it charmed Uncle Bob and his wife into buying a house there just from a simple visit for a cup of tea. After spending a day there, we kind of fell in love with Wuzhou Shan too. It is such a beautiful and charming place with its misty mountains and beautiful rice paddies. Thanks to Uncle Bob for inviting us and sharing his story, and we're looking forward to sharing the stories of more new friends we meet in China over the next months of traveling all over the country. And I will see you guys next time.